Podcast. This is Matt Brunet, creator of Animation Look Back In, Animats Reviews, and welcome to another exciting round of updates. Now, for this update vlog, I am only going to be discussing about two major subjects. There isn't really a whole lot to report, and especially with one of the stories, it's something that if you guys have been following me on my YouTube channel, then you probably know what's been going on, but I'm gonna go and try to make like a full recap of what has happened since the last update vlog so I can actually go and make an official announcement. Now, the first one I will be talking about will probably be the big thing that you would probably really would like to know, and that is a lot more information regarding Animation Look Back Ralph Bakshi, which is coming soon, and the other one will be regarding my Twitch channel and all the major changes that has happened ever since the Spring 2018 update vlog. So, with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get things started by first talking about one of my more anticipated upcoming projects, Animation Look Back, Ralph Bakshi. Now, I'm gonna go and start things off on this one by mentioning where I am right now, and I will tell you that as I am recording this, and probably by the time when this is released and you are watching this, I am currently working on the recording phase. I have just finished the script, now I'm gonna do all the recordings, whether it be through voiceovers or whatever I have to do with the camera, and then soon I will jump into the editing phase, which I will finally go and bring these videos to life, which is going to be the real exciting part. Now, the big thing about Animation Look Back Ralph Bakshi that if you want to know what's going to be happening with those series of videos is that the way that they will be formatted think a little bit more like animation look back Don Bluth. Considering that I am going to be focusing on an animator this is also going to work out more as a biography where I'm also going to be looking throughout his career and also talking about the movies that he has produced from Fritz the Cat all the way up to Cool World and then also mentioning about the stuff that he has done in between and also afterwards. And of course right at the end I would also do an honorable mention about one of his side projects and all that kind of stuff. However, a big thing to note about Animation Look Back Ralph Bakshi, and I cannot necessarily confirm to you this right now, but it does look like this could be one of the shortest animation lookbacks, or it could be the shortest animation lookback. Because with the amount of stuff that I have researched and I have written and that I'm about to record and all that kind of stuff, so far it looks like at the most it could end up being five parts long, including the end with the honorable mention and stuff like that. But it wouldn't necessarily be surprising if I do end up with just four videos. If, I, if it's just four parts and that's it. Which is why I mentioned that this could be the shortest animation look back that I will ever produce. But it's really hard to tell at this moment considering that there are some projects where I have like a lot to talk about and I have written like so many pages long and then there are others that they are rather short to describe and they're just like just two pages long and it could take me just like it, it like the, the that that aspect right that that little element that little part right there could last like five minutes long and that's it who knows so I'm just telling you right now how long it would be the length and also the format itself that it's also going to work out a little more as a biography as much as it is an animation look back where I will also be discussing about the history of each of those movies. But probably the big thing that you want to know, while it is all interesting about the information and all that stuff and also as you can see right beside me that I did actually create a teaser poster for it which I am pretty proud of actually. It does look pretty nice. I, I am happy with it. But the big question you want to know is, when is it going to be released? When am I going to bring out Animation Look Back Ralph Bakshi, or at least the first part of it? Well, I'm just going to say right now that I am determining one of two options. So I'm just saying those right now, just so you don't be surprised if it's not one, but instead the other. So what I'm expecting is that at the 
earliest, if I really do crank up my work and stuff like that, and like hopefully other aspects in my life don't get too much out of the way, then it could be possible at the earliest I'll be able to bring it out in uh, mid-August. That's probably the earliest release date that I am expecting. But if it doesn't come out in mid-August, then expect it sometime in September. Probably early September or mid-September, somewhere around that range. So I'm just going to say right now, if it doesn't come up in mid-August, then wait until mid-September, then probably that will be the release date right there. So it's either one of the two, but hopefully I have given you enough information of what it's going to be and hopefully you guys will be excited for those videos to come out because so far at least with the writing I did work hard I did work hard on it I have done a lot of research uh, I have written a lot of great material for it so uh, let's just see how it goes and yeah expect uh, Ralph Bakshi to come out sometime I guess the best way to say it is sometime at the end of summer that's probably the best way to describe it, and you can interpret that whatever way you want. Like, August can count as the end of September, or like, the real end of September, like it would be, or, or the real end of summer, I mean, sorry about that, um, that it would be close to that. So, it will be released around that time. Okay, so now that I've brought out all the information that I can currently about Animation Lookback Ralph Bakshi, let's go ahead into the other big piece of news regarding my Twitch channel. Now, these are things that if you guys have been following me since uh, the last update vlog and uh, recently throughout this year, then you may have noticed that there have been some major significant, uh, significant changes that has happened throughout my Twitch channel, which originally I have created it just as the Animat Plays Twitch channel, where I would present my Let's Plays and stuff like that. But since then, there has been a lot of changes, and I have done some new things with the Twitch channel, and now it is no longer called Animat Plays, but rather Animat Live. Whenever I would go and do any live broadcasting, then I will do it on my Twitch channel. That is where I will go and not only do Let's Plays, but I will also go and do uh, some podcasts, which I will go and discuss uh, a little later in this video. Now, the big thing about it is that also it can happen when I would go and do surprise live streams and stuff like that. Uh, I have recently done so, and it has gone with great success. And also, I would like to mention that in case that I don't actually make it on time, it is possible that... Um, even though I've said in the schedules that I will do it at this time every week and stuff like that, it is possible that I might have delayed it or put it earlier and stuff like that. So this is why it is really important when it comes to my Twitch channel that you should also go and follow me on social media. Rather it be through my Twitter at Animat505 or on Facebook on the Matt Brunet Animat Facebook page where from there you will get all the information you need and you will get all the updates in case that I would do some kind of surprise live stream or if uh, there is any updates if I'm going to be either late or if I'm going to be early for uh, a live stream rather it be for my let's plays or for my podcast so it is pretty important that you should go and uh, try to follow me there in case you want to get some updates regarding my live streams and you don't want to miss it and honestly at that point i should probably also do on my part in case like give you guys a little bit of a heads up because um, normally what I've done before or what I am doing currently it, it does seem like a bit of a, a, a bad habit in a way where I would mention that um, Whenever I would do a live stream it would be immediately like sometimes I don't give out an advance warning So I probably should do that just in case but I will definitely do so in case I do any sort of surprise live streams or if I'm going to do a regular live stream earlier or later. So I will go ahead and do that. But yeah, in general, that's the big thing with what's going on on my Twitch channel. But let's go ahead now and discuss about what is in the Twitch channel 
And the big thing that I have done so far with it, and so far my biggest success on Twitch with it, is actually regarding my new podcast in which I call Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast. Uh, in which uh, the logo that you see here is actually provided by uh, Mohammed Fikri, which I want to give a major shout out. The dude is actually really awesome, and he's currently working on a movie right now called The Heart of Them, so uh, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and uh, check that out. But anyways, let's go back to my podcast. So, in case you guys haven't heard, what has happened is that uh, I actually quit the website I was on called Filmbook. So they no longer uh, supply me the services that I was looking for, and I was basically doing work for them for nothing. I've already done a big vlog about it, describing the whole scenario and what I was about to do. And so what I decided to do as well is that I didn't want to give up the podcast itself. Um, beforehand, like the most fun that I've had with it is actually the podcast, the animation podcast, where every week I would go and do that, and it was really enjoyable, and a lot of people would really enjoy it as well. So ultimately, what I decided to do, I would go and leave them, and decided to go and create my own podcast, which is like a spiritual successor to the animation podcast, but in my own image, to go out fully bigger and better. And that's what I would do with Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast, where every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern, I would go and broadcast live on Twitch uh, whatever big crazy news that would be happening in animation or even in movies or uh, whatever piques my interest. So I would go ahead and talk about it live. And not only that, but you also get to see uh, my reactions live since I am also in front of a webcam. And also I get to go and interact with the audience, which is probably the best new feature since uh, I would often go and have something called a chat wall where you actually do see uh, the people commenting and what they would say regarding the whole situation of what I am talking about. And then we would have like a little moment after each story that we would go and interact and talk with each other about what's up and what do we think about each of these things and share some ideas. And it really is a lot of fun. And I feel like the podcast itself is definitely bigger and better with Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast. And also on top of that, uh, one thing that I would do, and I'm trying to do uh, a little more often, is actually bring in some special guest stars. I've already had a few people, including uh, Eye of Saul and also Joey Tedesco, and it definitely was great. It definitely was a lot of fun, and I know that I've got a lot of people who would request me to bring in more special guest stars to make it so that the podcast wouldn't be just me. So I'm going to do my best to try to frequently bring in some special guest stars. It won't be all the time, but it will be a special treat. So it's not going to be like an extreme rarity. So that is something that I am going to do with this. So uh, that's basically the big summary of uh, Animat's crazy cartoon cast. So uh, also at the same time, on top of that, don't worry if you would actually miss uh, the uh, Twitch broadcast of Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast because what happens is that two days afterwards, on Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern, I would go and upload the whole thing, upload the entire podcast episode onto my YouTube channel. And not only that, but also, if you want to listen to it and want to have the podcast on the go, I can actually supply that for you. I actually do have it available both on iTunes and also on Android, on Google Play. So if you guys want to go and just listen to Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast on your, uh, uh, iTunes, on your uh, Apple or Android services, then you can easily go ahead and do that as well. I have given out the option for that. So there are many ways that you can go and listen to Animat's Crazy Cartoon Cast, rather it be uh, just through literally as a podcast, you can check it out on YouTube, or you can watch them live on Twitch every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern. So that's the big thing with that. And I'm glad that I've officially made an announcement with it. So uh, go ahead and check that out.
And so finally, the last thing that I want to discuss regarding my Twitch channel is actually the other thing that I would do is actually with the Animat Plays. And I'm, I'm afraid I have to go and end this off on a bit of a sad note here, but unfortunately, I am going to be delaying Animat Plays. And the reason why I am doing this is mainly because of a lot of technical issues that I have to go and face. And I decided, you know what, I'm not going to be facing them anymore, and I'm not going to keep pushing to make these Let's Plays while I do have these technical issues. And I don't want this to also be a burden to the fans of Animat Plays, to those that do enjoy watching them, rather it be on YouTube or whenever I go live on Twitch. I don't want this to be a burden for them, uh, like just because I'm having these problems. And especially the fact that it doesn't make me look as professional as I want these videos to be, as much as I want these uh, live streams to be. I know that I can do much better but unfortunately, I don't necessarily have the resources, most namely with my computer, since uh, I am using an old computer that's just not necessarily strong enough to make these weekly Let's Plays and broadcast them live on Twitch. Now, I have done a YouTube video on the Animat Plays channel where I would explain in depth about why I'm doing this, but also on top of that, um, why I would be delaying this, why, uh, when is it that I'm going to be coming back, and also what you can do to help me out. Like, that video right there, I would go and answer all the questions that you would like to know regarding Animat Place, but this is just the big thing to say that yes, for now, I am delaying Animat Plays. It will come back someday. I don't necessarily know when. It could probably take months. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to be doing Animat Plays for a while. And the Twitch channel, for now, is just going to go and be the place where you can watch Animat's crazy cartoon cast. But don't worry if I do return, when I do return, actually, I will go and make a proper announcement and whenever the next time comes, I will do an update vlog like this for the main channel, then I will make a proper announcement. So uh, don't worry, this is just a little bit of a heads up, but if you are concerned about the future of Animat Plays, then I highly recommend to go and check out that video right there. So, with all that said and done, that is pretty much it with this round of updates. So I just want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching and uh, at the same time don't forget to go and follow me on social media. There are, pl uh, there are plenty of places that you can follow me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. That would be awesome. Also follow me on Facebook, both on the Matt Brunet Animat uh, Facebook page and also the Electric Dragon Productions Facebook page. And also follow me on Twitter at Animat505. And also, um, if you guys like what I'm doing right now, if you guys have enjoyed my videos and you want to go and support my work and get some awesome rewards at the same time, then all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash animat and from there you can go and get, like I said, get a lot of great rewards and you can also go and support me to, for, uh, that, that will allow me to go bigger and better than what I already am right now. So I think that pretty much covers it for everything. So I would like to say thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, see you later dudes.